I'm just a guy who loves Disney that has way too much time on his hands. If anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. Yeah. I'm here to rate, review, and describe all of your favorite things from the magical world of Disney. I'm Fallen Anduani, and welcome to my Disney news and reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to this very special holiday edition of these my Disney news and reviews. As I told you and I promised you as my Christmas gift to you, I'm going to do one more Disney news and reviews uh, you, know, you know, for this year. Um, I'm still technically on my break. I'm about 60% charged up and ready to go. Give me about maybe, I don't know, another month. I don't know. I'm just throwing a number out there. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm still working stuff out. I still got a lot of stuff to deal with in, you know, in my homeland, home, personal life. Uh, so yeah. Also, today is the day that I will be actually announcing the giveaway for this, the Disney's A Christmas Carol DVD and Blu-ray combo. Um, I had a chance to check it out. It's a great. It looks great. It's it's awesome. Um, I'm really looking forward to giving this away. Got all the names printed out, and that it was actually a, a pretty large response. And thanks again to everybody for all the well wishes and the the kind words. And, you know, it it it, it, it was it, it's really cool, to, you know, to to know that there are a lot of people out there that like actually you know that actually like what I do, even though I'm just kind of just a, a rambler that uh, rambles on about Disney stuff. But either way, sincerely from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much guys for all the kind words that you said. Um, yeah, so uh, I will be doing a full, uh, the, you know, a full episode today, no unboxings or anything like that, but I did get something in the mail. I got, I saved up a lot of points for my uh, you know, during the Disney Movie Rewards, and I saved up enough to get the first complete, or the complete first season of Walt Disney's Zorro. I, I'm really excited to get this. This is one of the things I was saving up for. I want to get uh, season two eventually. Um, but you can see right there, it's five discs in all 40 or 39 episodes of the complete first season of Zorro. Uh, it's, it's really cool. I didn't open the each individual disc yet. I just wanted to take it out and see. Uh, Unmask heroic, heroic swashbuckling adventure with Walt Disney's landmark television series. I have a lot of people at work that, uh, or a couple older people at work that uh, used to watch this, and uh, I got it kind of for them so they can, you know, raid my uh, DVD collection and watch it. So, so yep, yeah, Zorro, awesome stuff. Um, so yeah, all right. There's a lot of news that's been happening, you know, in the world of Walt Disney. Uh, uh, since I left, so uh, I want to just fill you in on the latest batch that I thought were newsworthy. So without any further ado, let's get right to the news. Just to let you know, there are many events planned for Disney World as we bring about the new year, all featured at WDWMagic.com. The Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and even Disney Quest, amongst others, will have some sort of New Year celebration. Be sure to check that out. Go to wdwmagic.com. They have a lot of, uh, you, know, you know, total updates on it. I didn't really have time to go into it in, in detail here, but they have it there at nauseum. So go and check out all the latest and greatest cool things uh, that Disney has planned for New Year's Day or New Year's Eve at uh, Disney World. Disney announced recently that the project of creating the new Art of Animation Resort is expected to create up to 800 construction jobs. And once opened by the end of 2012, Disney's Art of Animation Resort will also create 750 permanent resort hotel jobs for a total of 1,550 jobs created. Uh, Disney has also, released, so, uh, has also released some new concept art for the currently under construction Art of Animation Resort, scheduled to open in 2012, like I said before. So take a look at them. It's pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. It looks really interesting. I would love to stay there you know, when it gets finished in 2012 so who knows maybe I'll not when you go down there every time I try to go down to Disney World at all something always messes up so uh, who knows here's here, here's hoping a new stage show is set to replace the aging Playhouse Disney live on stage 
called Disney Junior Live on stage, the show will debut with new characters and some new adventures and a new marquee. The new production brings up back three audience favorites, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Handy Manny, and the Little Einsteins, and also introduces a brand new segment based on Disney Junior's newest t uh, TV series that will debut in February of 2011 next year, uh, Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Be on the lookout for that new series. I don't know anything about it, but I, I it was it was the first thing you know that, that I had heard. Uh, so you just be on the lookout for that, especially if you watch um, uh, Disney Junior. They're stealing from Nick Junior. Can't believe it. And some rehab and refurbishment news: the Studio Backlot Tour refurbishment that was scheduled from January 3rd to January 29th of 2011 appears to have been canceled. Uh, no word on yet if it has been rescheduled or will be reinstated, but for now, the attraction should be open in January of 2011, so remember that when you go down. And finally, the Primeval World will be closed for refurbishment January 17th through April 5th for a lengthy refurbishment. I'm not sure what they're, you know, you know what they're doing. I'm sure, you know, www.magic.com or allears.net or all the other places that I tell you to go to will keep you updated. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the news there. Let's get right to the reviews. It's the holiday season, everybody, and it's also my holiday edition of this Disney News and Review. So of course, I'm going to be reviewing some holiday um, uh, things that Disney has put out. I've reviewed pretty much a lot of, uh, or most of the attractions that Walt Disney World could have that is based around Christmas or anything like that. Um, a lot of you have been asking maybe you could do the, you know, the parades or, the, or something like that. I didn't want to do that, but I did happen to watch two Disney movies that uh, had something to do with Christmas or a lot to do with Christmas. One of them being uh, the first that I'm going to be reviewing today, the Santa Buddies, The Legend of Santa Paws. Now, I, I bought that last year and you can watch the unboxing and everything. I even got the uh, little dog holder plush dog here's Santa Paul or the Santa Paul's there and his helper uh, I even got you know I, I got all this stuff from the uh, the Disney movie rewards thing I got the carrying case as well from Disney movie rewards and um, I but I never watched it until uh, about three weeks ago and I was like okay I'm taking out all my Christmas movies let me watch them I don't care how bad they are I want to watch them it's Christmas and what's what we're going to do um, so I did I watched Santa Paul's and Okay, for kids, it's not that bad. I mean, if you're you're not getting, you know, Oscar-winning plot here. This isn't Godfather. This is Santa Paul's. So that would be interesting having Marlon Brando being Santa Paul's. I don't know what you want me to do. I try to take the presents and I give them to the kids. What do you want me to do? I don't understand it. I don't get it. Okay, that was a marginal Marlon Brando impression from The Godfather. And it had nothing to do with the plot of this movie. But anyway, the Santa Buddies movie, uh, th this one particularly, The Legend of Santa Paul's, came out in 2009 as the sequel to the other Buddies movies, which, in ha which just happened to be spin-offs of the old Air Bud movies. You remember Air Bud? That movie was actually pretty good. Air Bud, Air Bud, it was good. Air Bud was great. I didn't mind that movie. But I do mind all the sequels that it made and all the spin-offs that it made, namely this one. Um, anyway, it stars talking puppies that somehow get into mischief and always have, wind up learning a lesson at the end. Which is good, I guess, for a, for a kid's movie, that's kind of what you want to learn. Anyway, the whole thing about this movie uh, is that this shows the legend of Santa Paul's, who is voiced by Tom Bosley. He's the white dog there. Uh, who is Santa Claus's uh, dog. And uh, Santa Claus was pay, uh, played by George Wendt. And an uh, interesting fun fact, this is the fourth time George Wendt has been uh, has played a Santa Claus. Anyway, uh, Puppy Pauls, who is the son of Santa Pauls, uh, gets tired of the North Pole and wants to become a normal puppy. Uh, he gets tired because nobody believes in Santa anymore and the, uh, the this melting Christmas icicle... Um, is uh, if it melts all the way, it causes uh, you know all of, you know like, all the Christmas magic will cease to be, and therefore there won't be any Christmas anymore. So oh my God, we might not have Christmas. Let's get on this. Let's do this. Jesus, yes, let's do this. Anyway, uh, so again, it's it's melting because nobody believes in Christmas. Uh, so um, uh, Puppy Paws goes to a small town. 
and uh, tries to blend in with these other puppies, the buddies. Uh, but they don't wind up, you know, he is having a hard time blending in with the buddies because he has the power to do magic and, uh, you know, he, he wants to try to get into mischief with them and, uh, when he gets into mischief, they get blamed for it, they don't like it, so they kick him out. As they kick him out, the, uh, dog catcher played by Christopher Lloyd, Mr. Crooge, kind of rhymes with Scrooge, Mr. Crooge, uh, he, um, takes Puppy Paws to a, uh, animal shelter. Eventually, the uh, the buddies realize that they should, you know, uh, that they shouldn't have made fun of the guy, and you know, should have included him in his group. But then they realize the dog catcher got him, and the whole thing is trying to get Puppy Paul's back. Um, now, uh, while Puppy Paul's is in the uh, dog catcher's lair, the dog pound, he he meets another small puppy that shows him the spirit of Christmas, and. Uh, uh, so he now wants to spread all the Christmas cheer that he can. He wants to go back and be, you know, the, the successor to Puppy Paws. Yes! <laughs> we have a successor and stuff. Anyway, through his magic, he, uh, reinvigorates the spirit of Christmas and everything is all right. And in the end, Mr. Krooge, uh, you know, becomes a, a good guy, uh, by giving, uh, this kid who wanted a puppy, the puppy that helped Puppy Paws find the spirit of Christmas. That was hard to say. It really was. But yes, happy, happy endings all around. It was good, good stuff. Um, but oh yes, overall it was a pretty marginal movie. Um, I don't, okay, I can't quite rate this as an adult because, okay, if I were to rate it as an adult, as an adult it'd be crap. But if I rate it as a kid, it'd be, uh, it'd be all right. You know, it's a pretty interesting kids movie. It's good enough for kids. It helps them learn a lesson. Uh, what lesson? I don't know. I'm not a kid. I'm a kid at heart. But yeah, so what am I going to give Santa Buddies the Legend of Santa Paws? I'm going to have to round it, you know. I'm going to add an average. I'm going to need a calculator. Get your graphing calculators out, people. I need to, need to, I need, I need to know the square root of 23 and a third. Let's do this. Anyway, so what I'm going to give The Legend of Santa Paul's, I'm going to give it, I'll give it a three. I would give it a two as a, uh, uh, you know, for a, for an adult rating, and I give it a three for a kid, so I'm just going to round up to three, uh, because the average of two and three is two and a half. Um, but, okay, there are good things about this movie. Um, it's... It means well. It's pretty funny for you know for kids. It has some some instances of, of, of being interesting. Plus, it has Christopher Lloyd. You got to give it points for that. The negatives, um, the effects are whatever. Just the you know it is it is what it is. How how you make dogs act uh, is almost impossible. You just move their mouth. It just goes hey you know I'm talking now and they have no emotion in their eyes just because they're dogs and they don't do that. Um, and just, you know, and the annoying singing dog kind of ticked me off, so I took points away there. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm going to give it a three. Santa Buddies, Legend of Santa Paul's, check it out. Uh, it's on uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and all that. I'm probably going to get the Blu-ray soon, but Legend of Santa Paul's, here is the, the DVD there. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good addition, Disney Movie Rewards. Check it out. But if you can, Santa Paul's Legend of... Uh, of Santa Buddy's Legend of Santa Paul's three stars.